What is going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and that is right, we're here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battle video. If you guys like the video, even though you haven't seen it yet, make sure you like this video, and subscribe for more videos in the near future. I appreciate it. Now, we have a new passerby battler today, and he is going to be bringing some huge threats, but on my side, we see Wyos, we see Vickervolk, Rock, Midnight Form, Sylveon, Serena, and Lucario. Now Lucario, you guys, he's going to be packing the Phycanium Z, so therefore he's going to be using All Out Pummeling in this battle. We do see my opponent having a Mega Blaziken. Not really something I want to deal with. On top of that, he has like Mimikyu that can go with Sword Dance and Shadow Sneak, everything. He also has access to Dragon Dance, Gyarados, and Dragonite. He also has Mamoswine, which can set up Stealth Rocks that will hinder my opponent or my own Pokemon there. So, very unfortunate for this battle looking on paper. But you know what? Let's do the battle. Let's we'll see how this goes. You never know who's going to win until you fight. Now we do see my opponent leading out with Mamoswine, as I expected, but I do start out with Lyos. Not a good matchup here, as you can tell, but I can always switch out and go into something else. I knew my opponent might set up Stealth House. Realizing this, I can go into Serena and hopefully I can use Serena efficiently. He does have access to Rapid Spin. Unfortunately, I kind of messed up a little bit as I am able to live a Ice Fang, or survive an Ice Fang for that matter. I just go for play rough. I was hoping for an attack drop. Unfortunately, I don't get that. I really should have used Rapid Spin right there. That would have been a much better option. But at the same time, I was probably expecting a switch, but I never got that opportunity there. And so I kind of wasted, I kind of wasted Serena a little bit. Not entirely, but, you know, just a little bit. So I pull like a beast, and this is my Lucario, one of my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Shinies of the whole Pokemon franchise. And I just, you know, I live the Ice Fang, alright, but I go with Drain Punch. I was expecting another Pokemon to switch out, but not into Mimikyu. Mimikyu has the awesome ability Disguise right here, which means He'll have his like his health still at max HP there. He he literally has a substitute for the start. So uh, he has a red card. I did not see that coming. He drags me into Punisher, the Lycan Rock, and he goes with Home Claws. I can't really do much about it. It's a good thing he has Home Claws over Swords Dance. If it was Swords Dance, I probably wouldn't have survived that hit right there at plus one. I go with Stone Edge, and that is not enough, but at that range of HP that you got, Like a Rock pretty much helps out Lucario a little bit here, because I can go back into Lucario and hit Mimikyu pretty hard with the uh, Bullet Punch. He might be able to switch out into Blaziken, but at the same time, I could also put a little bit more chip damage onto the Blaziken if I wanted to, but my opponent decides to stay in, which is alright. So we managed to take out Mimikyu, but that just means that Blaziken can come in for free and Mega Evolve, Protect, Swords Dance, whatever he has. So realizing this, I'm going to switch out, going to Serena, and pretty much Death Fogger Serena. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use Rapid Spin because Stealth Rocks hinder my Pokemon quite a bit, unfortunately, for me to say. Because, like, we have Vigavolt, we have Lagios. They just don't like Stealth Rocks that much. If I went for Rapid Spin earlier in the match, I would have been in a much better position. He does have Fire Punch, and that is... Good to know that he has that. Um, I would prefer to have him use Flare Blitz, but he does not have Flare Blitz, because Flare Blitz, he'll have recoil damage. 
I go with Elias afterwards because that is the only threat to Blaziken. Because Blaziken generally does not have anything for Elias outside of Shadow Claw. He does not have it apparently. He switches out and goes into Roserade. Roserade is quite weak. We see this. Not gonna take a regular psychic. Super effective. He probably did that for Death Harder, and that means he can go into Dragonite, and Dragonite pretty much has a field day. I go with Draco Meteor, and holy crap! Draco Meteor is going to do a ton of damage. He barely holds on. I don't know if it has multi scale or not, but there we see Dragon Dance. And once again, I still have Lucario in the back, which has extreme speed as well. Um, Bullet Punch might work here, but both of them are priorities. So even though Lanios is going to go down here, I don't have a good answer for Blaziken at this point. Mega Blaziken is going to be a threat after this. So Dragonite, who's at really low health, is going to get knocked out by the uh, Extreme Speed or the Bullet Punch that I choose. It's going to be one of those moves, okay? So we go to the Beast. And the move of choice is going to be Extreme Speed, and we will be able to take out Dragonite. But that means my opponent can go back into Blaziken. Why do people do this? It's like, Mega, Mega Blaziken is banned, alright? It's banned. Why do people do this? It's like they have the upper edge by having a Mega. Okay, so I do finally reveal my Z power to my opponent because he protected. Uh, I'm Still going to hit this Z power move all out pummeling. It's a very strong move, therefore, even though my opponent went for protect, he's gonna still get hurt by this very powerful fighting type attack. Um, he gets hit a little bit, but not as much, because he's not entirely vulnerable. He's partially protected. But that is alright, at least I hit the Z power. And I go with Extreme Speed because Bullet Punch is a skill type move. It's not going to be very effective. So Extreme Speed is going to be the, the choice of priority here. And then Lucario goes down. He has his speed boost there. I, I, I really don't have a good answer for Blaziken at this point. I do have Sylveon. Sylveon has Reflect. And I could use that to my advantage. Uh, he does have Mammoth Sign here. Um, I go with Moonblast. I am threatened, so I can't really use Reflect right now. I just need to put as much damage onto the Blaziken or whatever he wants to bring in next. I want to take it out right away. He goes with Earthquake. I know I can live it because I have max HP and a lot of defense on this particular Sylveon set. I go with Reflect. And that is going to help me a little bit, but in the end, it's not. And you'll find out why, okay? So we do set up a reflect. I don't have a light clay, I have leftovers instead. And I should live this earthquake from this range because of the reflect. Without it, I would be dead right now. So I go with another moon blast, and this should take out almost fine, no problem. And that means that he can go into Gyarados, and he can pretty much go with Waterfall because Sylveon is really slow. I, he cannot really outspeed with Gyarados, not so much. And Kaibank does not do anything in particular, but that is alright. So he goes with Waterfall as I expected. That is fine with me. Because I have Vikavolk, and Vikavolk is a electric type Pokemon that will pretty much take care of Gyarados with a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt. We see Gyarados using his Z Power, and the Z Power of choice is going to be the, the, the Sub Zero Slammer attack, and that is an Ice type move. You will see how much this does. It barely does anything to Vikavolt, which is hilarious. I thought it would be super effective, but it's not. So I go with Thunderbolt, and that is going to easily finish off Gyarados. Unless he has a Focus Sash, which that would not be the case. Man, that is something. 
Vickervolt is on his last legs, the last Pokemon here. He goes to protect, plays it and does, and that is a great move by my opponent because, believe it or not, this is the end of the Reflect. So that means I will not live a Fire Punch. Therefore, I lose the battle, but it was a really close one. I lose 6-5 to five or 1-0. Very close battle. I, I really enjoyed this battle very much. Hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. So, uh, I will be posting more content here soon. But if you all like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi Bell video. Have a great week. Have a great day. Take care, Pokemon Cast.